In today's video, we are back once again for some more gaming news. And first off, we've got the official updated look of Atomic Heart, which is an upcoming open world Soviet Union FPS. We also have what seemed to be our very first Elder Scrolls 6 leak from a reliable insider. The upcoming FPS game Ready or Not is back from the dead and what might be the Battlefield 6 reveal month. So let's get into it right away. Before we start, as always, drop a like on this video as it truly helps the channel. And let's go. Since its big reveal back in 2018, Atomic Heart has been a widely anticipated upcoming release for many, with Munfish's surreal sci-fi survival horror game seemingly taking inspiration from popular and appreciated projects like Bioshock and Prey. Today we add its official updated look with its ultra detailed photo mode reveal, also with brand new screenshots as well as its full description in all of its details. So let's get into it without wasting time. I'll be reading the game's description as well as showing you the new screenshots. In Atomic Heart, a global system failure happens at the Soviet facility number 3826 that leads machinery to rebel against the people. You are Major P3 and your task is to eliminate the consequences of a large-scale accident and prevent the leakage of classified information threatening to destroy the whole world. You will study the behavior of your enemies and observe how they relate to each other. Use the varied arsenal of arms and special abilities of your polymer glove, which is one of the most unique weapons ever seen in any video game. Something that will make you feel very powerful. Turn everything into a weapon, environment, objects, your own body and even enemies themselves with this gadget. Every fight will be different from the last. You'll be able to explore huge research facilities and test sites. Find out more about the employees and their ways of life and work. Uncover Soviet secrets, but know that death hides in every corner. Corner. Can you survive? A neural network named Collective unifies ground base and flying robots alike into a single hive mind. If you are noticed either above or under the ground, the reinforcements from the nearest factory will come to kill you. Use hacking to break in unnoticed. You'll also be able to use pieces and components with the Checkout 3.0 device to create more than 30 types of melee weapons and firearms. Cassette cartridge and various modifications will help you use the environment to your advantage and and explored enemy vulnerabilities. Here's a description of the main character. Major Nechev, a special duty officer and a private agent of Professor Sechenov, excels in handling complicated situations, sometimes violently. Nechev dedicated his whole life to the servers, and in return, all he's got is deep loneliness and numerous runes, both physical and mental. Professor Sechenov is the only human being who treats him with fatherly warmth, and Agent Nechev pays him back with loyalty and respect. Respect. The spatial agent's past remains classified. The glove or the polymer manipulator is powered through batteries implanted in Nietzsche's jumpsuit. The connection is established through a universal port in the agent's hand. As you can see on the game's new website, there's gonna be many many weapons available to us when the game releases, including the Railgun, Dominator, Thunder, Neptune, AK, Shotgun, Electro, and so much more, which all have their own distinct damage and little abilities. All of them will be different and make the enemy respond in a different way, which is awesome. There's also going to be almost 30 different monsters that will be wandering around the open world, some that will be passive aggressive, but others that will come for you right away. Once again, each creature is said to be extremely different than the other and all have their own distinct behaviors and abilities. We have the Biliash, which is a large scale robot that can operate in really cold conditions as well as climb walls, stock beams and hit you with dangerous attacks. Thanks. For now, the other creatures aren't available, but I guess they will be unlocked over time on the website, leading up to the game's release on PS5, PS4, Xbox, and PC. Atomic Heart is set in an alternative universe where the Soviet Union has survived after World War II, and the technological progression has changed the face of the world, at least in the Soviet Union. Mass production of robots for different purposes has given a new face to the industrial territories, which is your field of investigation in the game. Next up, we we have what might be our first leak for The Elder Scrolls 6, the long-awaited open-world medieval game that almost everyone is waiting for. Can you imagine it's been almost 3 years since the game has been announced? Bethesda clearly weren't ready to show anything for those almost 3 years that passed and it is still looking like it right now. Though since the game might be more advanced into development right now, well leak details might start to release out in the wild. That's what seemed to be happening. Though of course, take what I'm gonna say with a grain of salt as any 
anything could be false or true so we never know. There is too little leak to talk about in this one. The latest rumors comes from Tiffany Treadmore, the leaker who accurately revealed some pretty big information in the past that no other revealed. For example, one of the biggest leaks of 2020, which is the early cancellation of E3 2020, and also leaked the massive Nintendo Direct event. These two leaks were extremely right in all the details. Now, this leaker is going on to Elder Scrolls territory, and she claims that the Elder Scrolls 6 will include very detailed survival mechanics, like building yourself a hut, fire, maybe you'll need to be hydrated and fed and things like that, but in a way that feels right. She also talked about a rune drawing feature that is basically a system for implementing and crafting new magic spells and abilities. It's not something that's really surprising to hear, as Bethesda already implemented survival mechanics in games like Fallout 76 and so on, so they could be thinking about doing it in this sequel. The next leak of the same game comes from Jeff Grubb, who again accurately leaked many many things in the past. Jeff did not specifically say about the release date of the Elder Scrolls 6, but about the launch of their upcoming Starfield. Jeff said that there is a 90% chance that the sci-fi title will be revealed at the upcoming E3 2021 in the summer. If it does get revealed at E3 2021, based on Grubb's info and on Bethesda's release pattern, it is safe to say that the Elder Scrolls 6 will launch in 2024 or 2025, according to him. It is still far away from releasing, but considering the studio is concentrated on Starfield at the moment, which could release this year, well, it is to be expected. Let me know what you think of it, and if you think this leak could be real. Next up, we have the upcoming tactical FPS SWAT game Ready or Not coming back from the dead, thanks to awesome news of the studio partnering with Team 17 Publisher so they can get all the funding they need to finish the product and put everything they wanted at release. We've been working hard to make Ready or Not an immersive and engaging tactical shooter, and have already attracted a keen and excited community around the title," said Void Interactive CEO Julio Rodriguez in a press release. We're thrilled that Team 17 shares the same passion and ambitions for the game as we do, and we're already working together to deliver an immersive and adrenaline-fueled experience. Team 17 also said the same thing, that it is a really ambitious game to work on. At its core, Ready or Not is a tactical shooter that drops players into the role of elite operatives looking to defuse hostile situations. Breaching, clearing, and engaging in stealth tactics will be vital for success, along with commanding a squad of operatives with strategic equipment loadouts having a dramatic impact on the mission. Non-lethal options will be instrumental to players too. Arrests will need to be made and civilians safe to ensure each danger is dealt with swiftly and safely. How you choose to engage with each scenario will be pivotal to the outcome. To use deadly force or non-lethal options, what is the best way to maximize your squad teamwork to ensure all hostages are safely rescued? Split-second decisions just like these will be down to you. Ready or not could now be fully released in 2021, thanks to this partnership. Finally, we have what definitely may be the reveal month of Battlefield 6. Battlefield 6 rumors though keep on coming in almost every month, as the game has been confirmed to release in 2021, the hype is extremely high right now, so people are holding to anything new from this next project, by dice. On the YouTube podcast Games Beat, the video game insider Jeff Grubb, this one guy again, commented on when Battlefield 6 may be revealed, based on a question from the audience. Grubb has been a very highly trusted source in the past. Right away when asked this question, Grubb simply said in May, with a lot of confidence. Confidence. After commenting that things are fluid, Grubb said that they haven't announced anything publicly yet, but my understanding is that they're probably looking at me. Based on that comment and on what Grubb is willing to share, EA and DICE are definitely looking at May again for a Battlefield 6 reveal, which could definitely not be a surprise as the last two Battlefield games were also revealed in May, Battlefield 5 and Battlefield 1. Let me know if you guys are excited for this. Alright guys, that is all for today's gaming news. For more gaming news like this, drop a like to give some support and of course subscribe to stay tuned. Thanks to Richard Westfall, Bruce Wayne 236, Thunderbeard, Kian Zofagari, Rickno 23, Diamond Hunter 45, Themistocles, Space Beer Gaming, and Rush Singbati for being a master member on the channel. You can become a survivor member for as low as 99 cents only by clicking the join button below. This will support me and the channel as a whole to continue making videos on the games that truly deserve it.